the reason we are doing this series for those of us who might be thinking of investments or business you want to advise somebody or you want to do it yourself or you want to envision in the nearest future let's look at this and see where it can take us to happy viewing my name is john timbri so you are welcome i hope you'll get the best from this video Still on business opportunity and investment opportunities in Nigeria. Okay, we may have people who, due to their works of life, they are professionals, they are working, but they want to start doing businesses. They want to invest in businesses where they that requires very little of their time or little, no time but they want their money to work for them okay or we have people in diaspora because I am gladly acknowledging that I'm seeing Nigerians from other parts of the country uh, other parts of the world viewing uh, our videos want to thank you for following up even though you are far away and you're thinking of ensuring you do something at home in Nigeria uh, and you are just wondering what do you need to invest in so that's why we're looking at this topic for best businesses to invest in as a sleeping partner four best businesses to invest in as a sleeping partner. Being a sleeping, sleeping partner simply means that you have a legally binding agreement to do business with an individual or legal backing does all the necessary structures and documentations okay, to ensure that Though you are bringing in the money, you are bringing in the money, you are not participating in the day-to-day -day running of the business, but you are the financial partner. Okay, so if it's two persons running a business, one is the entrepreneur working, running the business, then the other one's money is involved, and the person is not involved in the day-to-day, -day, that partnership, okay? That's partnership. Now, the person who, who is bringing in money and is not part, participating is a sleeping partner. Okay. Now, many people want a situation whereby they can go to sleep. Their investment works for them. So you identify a good entrepreneur who knows what he's doing and he runs it with your money. Okay. Or with most of it from your own investments. And you want to ensure that they, it works out for you. Okay, we will look at four businesses. It's important. So some people are afraid, though, to get engage in people. Four businesses in Nigeria you can uh, you can invest as a sleeping partner, and you go to sleep, and then you ensure that you know that it's very easy for you to get back your money or you get your returns on either yearly basis, monthly basis, or whichever the case. So number one, let's look at number one. Okay, now number one is pharmacy. Pharmacy. Now you can't have a pharmacy if you are not a professional. You must have a license. Okay, and many of these professionals uh, don't have the funds. Okay, because they are still young. Uh, they don't have the funds to run the pharmacy at the level they want to engage. So they may need one person who will invest money uh, 
they will run it. They have the license, so they are going to uh, register and they bis they, that business in a particular name, okay, with their license. But the issue is the money. So you coming in as a sleeping partner, okay, you can easily put in your money after all the agreement is made, and it is very easy for you to monitor what is going on because in the pharmacy they are expected to do their bookkeepings are very clear clear and straightforward and then if you do a business with pharmacy okay you know that if you have registered a company and it's running pharmacy there is the the um, requirement that audits will be made so external audits will necessarily be made so from there, you can easily look at what the returns are, and you know it's straightforward. So the turnover and every other thing in pharmacy is straightforward. So since it's straightforward, you can easily identify if you are being just changed by your partner. So it is very straightforward. And then the license of your partner is involved in it. So that risk is pretty high, so your partner is not likely to to change you because it, it's a win-win for both of you so investing in a business that is it free very easy as a sleeping partner number one is pharmacy pharmacy and number two number two okay now education provides a very large opportunity uh, uh, web of opportunities okay there are a lot of schools or different kind of schools there so you can partner with a proprietor maybe a new person who has the qualification he has everything he has the registration he has everything he has the experience he could put all the things in, in place but maybe he didn't have fun because school thrives on infrastructure Infrastructure is very key. If this school is going to be approved, government approved infrastructure is very important. And then if the school is going to really thrive over time, it has a lot to do with the school infrastructure. So you, are, you have some money and you want to invest in somebody, okay? School. So you can look for somebody who has all the requisite skills to run a school the person wants to run his or her own school but he needed a partner so that he'll be able to achieve um, achieve the goal in good time so school is one other very easy one because it is very straight line it's straight lines so by the time your audit comes your reports comes annually you find that, okay, you know when the, the school is doing well, and you also know when the school is not doing well. There are, there are monies you, can, so you cannot easily be shortchanged. So you can invest in school, provided you have somebody who is going to run the school as a director or the proprietor, somebody you can trust, that you can run this, this school together. So you just be your the sleeping partner, your phones will not work for you. Okay? Now this other number three is it is always coming in. It's always coming in when you're talking about lucrative businesses in Nigeria right now, is a transport services. So number three, transport services. Okay. I'm not going to specify a particular transport service business because there are very there are a lot of them. Okay, there's a for tricycles. Okay, there are people who have organized structures running tricycles in several cities. Some people have several cities in the country. Okay, some people have companies right now that runs tricycle businesses, just the transportation tricycles. While there are some who who run these uh, higher self, uh, purchase services. For tricycles, okay, there are companies that runs that, so you can 
partner with somebody who knows what to do, who knows how to go about it. You can partner with the person and let your work, money work for you. Okay, other transport services, the uh, uh, there are people now having Uber chains, boat chains. They're having several cars, several people working with them. Okay, they are having several services now. It's not just individual. So you can put together, so you will know somebody who knows how to run it, he knows how to walk, uh, uh, walk the roads, he knows other things, and they can put together. So if you have 10 cars, okay, you can run a boat service. You can run boat service as a company. You, or taxi as a company. Or bus in services, interstate and intrastate. Okay, whichever way you find, whichever one you find easy to manage, easy to put together or yeah, that is we find most lucrative or you're much interested depending on your concept. So a practitioner, a transport practitioner will, um, will be very happy to have an, a, sibling, a sleeping partner who will uh, uh, partner with them and so they will grow together quickly. Okay, and it is straight line. It is very easy to identify Okay, very identified since it is, it may not be easy for them to just easily change you. So you can go to sleep, just need to find a very good working partner, and then it works for you in the transport services. Okay, number four. I would have done five, but uh, let me do four because time, the time is going. Okay, uh, number four is uh, real estate development. Okay, let me just differentiate real estate as it is from uh, uh, development. When you're talking about real estate development, you're talking about you get the uh, virgin land, you could get the virgin land, you get the virgin, and then you develop properties. You develop properties, you are either selling the properties or you are putting the properties on lease, and you are putting the pro 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 uh, properties on rent, and you are doing quite a a lot. You can do that in partnership with an existing estate firm. You can do that with in partnership with a estate professional. Okay, you can do that in partnership with an estate firm or estate pro uh, professional. Okay, and then. Uh, your audits will always give you reports. So it's, imp it's important. I think that they don't need to say much about that, but all over the world, real estate um, or properties, property development is the most, one of the most lucrative business. And a lot of uh, professionals in the field love to use other people's money to do the work. And it's a win-win. They get their own and the owners of the money also get there. So there's always the opportunities to get through um, people with um, honest people who you can run such estate development uh, businesses together, okay? So it's important, before I go, it's important to say this. Partnership business should be done legally the business should be registered with an agreed name, okay? Between both partners, the entrepreneur who is running the business and the sleeping partner, okay, whose fund is in the business. So if you have all proper documentations, it will be able to protect both in the interests of both people and to ensure that both of you have the same interests. The only difference is that one will be running the business, then the other one will uh, is funding the business. So as the business is making returns, both of them will have their due share that have been properly, properly outlined. Okay, uh, let me put this other, other, other tip. Don't just run to a lawyer a lawyer puts all the documentations in place, and then you feel that everything is done. I would advise you, you want to go into a partnership with somebody, also discuss with a 
or consult a business development consultant. Okay, I had this challenge or I was called in to resolve a problem lawyers could not resolve. This business agreement that got to, got to the point whereby they were about killing themselves. So the police was involved. The commissioner of police was involved in the issue. The deputy commissioner of police had an interest. And so he wanted the thing to be resolved without the courts and the rest of them. And then I was called in as the consultant to now look into the process and we were able to, over time, to get a process in place that was a win-win for everybody. The partners then agreed, they signed their checks and the relationship continued. It never got to a point whereby, again, that they want to kill themselves. So I like to put that in place. So see a business development consultant. If you are running, you want to invest in partnership uh, with a particular business before you go to the lawyers so that the process will be in place and the, the, the lawyer will put the what has been developed, the process has been developed, put into the uh, proper documentation so that you are all protected. The interest of everybody is taken care of. I hope this is helpful. I would like to know if this um, video is helpful to you. Just let me have your likes. Let me have your comments and I will entertain questions. Please ensure you subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. We are glad you stayed true with us. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel.